Hey, welcome to Tool Talk. This is Tool Talk Tuesday. I hope to start making these videos on a regular basis. Um, this tool I have for you guys today is a case spreader. All right, also in addition to um, the quality of this tool, these, uh, these pieces are hardened steel. You get grade eight bolts. You get a hand custom made spinner wrench in this nice green color uh, that looks very similar to <laughs> the Stanley uh, thermos. I like this guy. His name, uh, again, the company's name is Creative Metal. It's made in the U.S. in Montana. These pieces are incredibly solid. The whole kit weighs 35 pounds, but in this small package, it's just so heavy. Uh, it kind of doesn't, it's hard to do it justice in the video. But you can see the ed edges are beveled on all the hardware. Yeah, it's just very well made. And then the uh, machining and the um, tap uh, the tap work on the threads is incredibly clean. Uh, this guy is only charging $160 for these tools. So, I would definitely recommend him. Super easy to assemble. Once you get it put together, this will be under load. You put a little bit of preload on it and just start using your spanner wrench that they include. And that allows you to spread that case just, just enough to get it opened up. And then your gear, you can put your differential in there. And the real key part to this is if you're going to start doing air lockers, which I bought this for, uh, ARV air lockers requires you to um, spread the diff enough to get the seal to, to, and the uh, copper tubing that comes out of here to move around the axle without damage. If, uh, if your installer's beating in the axle, that could uh, twist and, and turn the seal inside the diff. Um, a lot of that can be installer error when you have air lockers uh, problems. So we're gonna mitigate all that. We're gonna go with the beefiest thing I can find. And what I really wanna hit on is that this, ax uh, this uh, axle spreader, uh, the case spreader is uh, just over a hundred dollars. There's three different models. There's ones without the uh, the hardware to hold it onto the diff while it's on a vehicle, um, and you can go down to just a bolt rather than the rather than this um, adjustable nut. It just uses a couple of bolts and a, and a nut. Uh, cheapens the price a little bit if you're just doing it for side work. But I thought at this price it just pays to have the heavier duty hardware. Um, this is super exciting for somebody who's a DIYer. And somebody who's done a couple of diffs and you're starting to work on more and more and you want to do it the right way spend the extra money on these because these tools um, from a automotive sales standpoint are in the you know 500 to a thousand dollar range if you get them depending on where you get them from 
Um, this actual setup was just over hundred dollars. This is making it incredibly affordable for you. And I want to give a plug to him and I'll put a link down in below in the description. Um, but this came from John in Montana, Stevensville, Montana. And uh, check his, uh, check his uh, eBay ad out uh, because this is an incredible, incredible deal. Hope you guys enjoyed this, to, uh, toy, uh, this Tool Tuesday talk. And uh, you know, like, subscribe, tell me what you guys think. And hopefully I can share uh, some more content with you guys as, uh, as cool as this piece is. Uh, otherwise, I would have known about it had I not just been shopping around. So I was excited to, to give you guys a heads up about it. Thank you from the gentleman out in uh, Montana who put this together for me. And uh, it's a very quality piece. You should be very proud. This is way above and beyond uh, what I, I thought I was going to get. Thanks for watching, guys.